This is the next generation for crypto investing. With ties to Binance and global governments, this project needs to be dived into before it launches. Welcome to The Bean Pod. This is your place for all things stocks and crypto. From beginner tips to expert picks, use this as fuel for your investing journey. Because when you're in the know, your money will grow. This episode of The Beam Pod is sponsored by BitGet. BitGet is the most user-friendly and secure crypto trading platform for both beginners and experienced traders. BitGet is the best place to not only trade Bitcoin and Ethereum, but also all the small cap gems that we discuss every day. With 24 seven customer support, leverage trading, and a wide array of other advanced features, BitGet sets itself apart from every other centralized exchange. Through Beanstalk's official partnership with BitGet, you'll receive 15% off all trading fees when you sign up using the referral link in the description. All views expressed by speakers on the BeanPod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the BeanPod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is Shane, aka the Jolly Green Investor. And this is Josh, the Nifty Investor. Today, we're going to be looking at a project before it launches that represents the future of crypto investing. With ties to Binance and global governments, this project, which hasn't launched yet, needs to be dived into right now. All right. So, the thing about crypto investing is there are tons of different projects, right? Not only are there, I don't know, twenty over 20,000 tokens circulating in the crypto world today, it seems like there's new, I don't know, 100 new projects launched every day. It's very, very hard to sift out from the good projects, from the not so good projects, from the outright scams, right? So what we're going to be talking about today is a project that's kind of taking a new, a new angle into crypto investing, creating a new paradigm through cri- crypto investing by basically setting up an investment DAO which has all kinds of experts that are screening projects for you. So taking a lot of the time and risk out of your hands and then providing a whole bunch of interesting tools and they're focused on interesting sectors. So what they're doing is very interesting. So this is an investment DAO built for Web3 specifically. It's it's new, it's regulatory compliant and it's like a global capital firm. You can almost think of it as like what Shane and I do. You know, we research hundreds of different pro- of projects by our, our own expertise, and we narrow down and present to you guys projects that we find interesting based off of our research. Mm-hmm. With this project, they have a team of experts, which we'll get into, who specialize in four specific categories. You know, so they're, not, no, they're not all over the map. Right. And then they allow you to invest money in it, and as the projects do really well, you'll receive a payout. And not, they also have like all kinds of interesting tools that allow you to track your investments, allow you to learn about your investments. So we're going to get all into this. So make sure you watch this episode until the end. So let's we'll start off with the four areas that this project, well, well first of all, you know, we'll reveal it. It's called Bionic DAO. Yeah. So Bionic DAO focuses on four specific crypto sectors. So first, of course, AI. Yeah. Like AI is the future of crypto. AI is the future of the world. So one of the main sectors that Bionic DAO is focusing on is AI, so machine learning, robotics, and all that kind of stuff. They also are fo- focusing on, I think what will be end up being like one of the biggest sectors is decentralized science. Mm-hmm. You know that I think that's gonna be massive. And then they have mixed reality yep. and infrastructure. Yeah. So infrastructure is interesting. It's it's basically you know as we've kind of interviewed more founders from projects and you talk about the technical aspect of crypto you understand how important infrastructure is. You know, it might not be the Mm. sexiest thing. It's not maybe as sexy as AI or gaming or metaverse because it's a little bit more challenging to understand from the retail investor's point of view. But let me tell you, there is nothing without infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So to see that Bionic DAO is focusing on smart infrastructure, which means decentralized identity, scaling protocols, all that kind of stuff, the stuff that makes crypto work, right? So this is very important. So, and as you mentioned, yeah, extended reality. So metaverse, mixed reality, gaming, all that kind of stuff. They're focusing on four of the hottest sectors, which right off the bat makes me think Bionic DAO is on something. And when you're focusing on specific technology verticals, you're not spreading yourself thin, right? Like you can't be an expert in DeFi, but also in AI, but also in NFTs and also in gaming. Like when you focus on four, it allows you to be an expert in those areas. So then you can start identifying the best projects. Yep. So the next thing that these guys do is they ensure that there's a, mo- a business model that will actually generate revenue. Yep. 
You know, it's not just here's a project, here's our here's our roadmap, and then nothing happens. Yeah, they're verifying before they're even bringing this project to the DAO to allow you as an investor to get in. Yeah, and this is another thing we've been talking about more lately, and the projects that we personally choose to invest in. We're starting to look more for products that have been building for years before they launch a token, rather than investing in riskier projects. We say, look, we're launching our token, and then we're going to build this platform yeah. based on the uh, using the money that we sold our token for. Yeah, you know, so, don't get me wrong. Sometimes that can work out if you have a, a team and they're just they're rushing to start. It can work out. However, it's inherently more risky. If you're looking at a project, you know, some examples in the past we've had. You know, we did talk about Orchai. Mm. They've been building for years. Then they launched a token. So Bionic DAO is looking for projects that, no fluff, we want a proven business model, proven revenue streams, budgets, defined values. What If you're going to launch at a market value of $10 million, why is it valued at that, right? So they're looking at this from an experienced investor perspective, taking a lot of what investing in Web2 is. You know, Web3 can be very risky, but when you take out some things from Web2 investing that have worked, put it into Web3, that's a successful plan. Another thing they want to see is, has the project raised any money? Have they actually put in some work? Mm-hmm. So they want to see that, you know, if a project's going to hit the hit the Bionic DAO, has it raised at least $2 million? Right. So do they have skin in the game? Mm-hmm. You, know, you have a lot of these projects. It's like, look, I'm just going to launch. Well, have you done any fundraising yet? Have you put any effort in? They want to see effort from these teams to ensure like, yeah, all right, you guys are actually doing something. For sure. Uh, another thing, and speaking to the teams, is they want to see, are they an experienced team operating within their sector? So you don't want to have... Uh, an investment banker starting up a, a metaverse gaming project. Right. It's not going to work. It ha- they have to align with that with the vertical. For sure. So, all right. So now we've kind of kind of given a guide of the four main narratives that Bionic DAO is looking at. Now we know what kind of projects they're looking at within those narratives. So the next step is, okay, how do people get involved with Bionic DAO? And what kind of tools are they offering to their members and community? So basically, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, if you want to become involved with Bionic DAO, you come in and you allocate a certain amount of stable coins, and then they're also going to be launching their token in the future, which we will talk about later. So they provide a, de- a deal flow on the Bionic DAO website or, or a platform, and you say, look, I want to get involved in X amount of projects, and you, you provide your capital in stable coins. But they're not just looking for people that are just going to put money in and go away. Really what Bionic DAO is looking for is more hands-on investors that want to be involved in the projects. They want to learn about the projects and give their expertise or even just test out the products, give feedback on the platform. They want more hands-on investors. They're not really just looking for just throw us your money and go away. Yeah, I think this with the membership model, I think is really going to help with ensuring that uh, investors kind of hold on to the the Bionic token. And what's more is that Bionic DAO is like, you know, when a lot of these projects end up launching, so you're an investor, you hold the Bionic token, you go into the DAO, and then your allocation is vested over all these uh, several different projects, you know, within the AI realm, et cetera. You want to be able to see, that, and this is what uh, one of the biggest problems in this space is, is like there's a lack of transparency and all that. So they're going to provide tools that will allow the investors and the projects see, you know, what's the white paper? Wh- um, where's the capital going? Where's the marketing budget? How so much like pure data insight to make more informed decisions. And then once a, let's say there's a lot of projects that there that, you know, we've communicated with in the past, they don't necessarily have a a true strategy moving forward after like the product launches and all these other things. Bonic DAO is also assembling a team of experts who will help grow the project there out afterwards. And that ensures as a, as a Bonic DAO holder of the token, you want to see these projects succeed. So you want to see marketing, you want to see expansion, you want to see community involvement. So Bionic DAO helps also helps these projects, you know, years down the road as well. For sure. And what they're doing is they're building a long-term sustainable community, or, you know, in this space, we call it a DAO. So ultimately what they want is Bionic DAO to consist of 3,000 to 5,000 members. Uh, they're looking to onboard in cohorts of 500 per month. There's an uh, application process. They look at their, you know, your on-chain and your off-chain footprint. They want to have... You know, it's, it's really interesting because if they can really execute this, they're going to have a, a group of a thousand, thousands of the best crypto investors in the, and Web2 investors in the world. Yeah. It could really become, you know, just massive snowball effect of finding the best projects, incubating the best projects and launching them, right? So to, to ensure they onboard the best levels of members, they're asking during the application process that the applicants must hold 100,000 BCNX token to submit an application. 
Uh, the fully diluted value of that token will be $15 million. And the tokens are returned on successful or unsuccessful applications. So you just need to hold the token to apply. Yeah. So again, skin in the game, right? Not everyone can apply. You have to say, look, I'm willing to put my money on the table to apply to this DAO. If you're not successful, fine. Money back. No worries. Yeah. Right? That, I like that. So you're getting the world's best investors, but then you're also getting the world's best deal flow partners. Mm -hmm. uh, so they have a really interesting list of technical and deal flow partners, Polygon Ventures, Algorand, Near Protocol, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Mint Lair. This is where some of these projects can be siphoned from and presented to Bionic DAO. Mm -hmm. So you're, now you're presenting the best investors with the, some of the best projects and, you know, it's cooking up something special for the Bionic DAO holders. For sure. So, all right. So now just a quick recap. We've gone through the narratives that Bionic DAO is looking for. We've talked about how they're finding the projects, where they're getting the projects from, what they're looking from for investors to join the Bionic DAO. So one of the last things to discuss, which is very important, is, okay, say you get accepted into Bionic DAO. What do you get as a buy on other than obviously access to projects? What kind of tools and technology they're offering? So this is pretty interesting. So engage community members with high reputation. The more you contribute, the more likely you are to get a chance to invest into projects. Then they've built a cool, like a custom dashboard. You know, like, look, how hard is it to track all your investments in crypto? Mm -hmm. There's so many things going on. You want to track everything that's going on with every project. And, you know, obviously tools like CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, these things help. But... Bionic DAO has gone a, ne a next level, right? So they've created a custom dashboard. You can actually chat and query the white papers of your projects using their own custom AI chatbot. So you can really deep dive into projects that you invest in or want to invest in prospectively using their AI tools. I think that's pretty cool. They're also providing simulations of tokenomics. You know, tokenomics can be very hard to understand from the retail point of view. <clears throat> and they're providing, all right, Five years, 10 years down the road, give me a simulation of where the tokens will flow and who will be holding these. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Because, you know, when it comes to red flags, green flag decisions that make people want to invest or not, tokenomics can be kind of, you know, the, the line in the sand, so to speak. Absolutely. And now there's a lot of moving parts with all this. You know, we're, we're talking AI. We're talking DeFi. We're talking about marketing these projects. There's a lot of moving parts. So the team, the docs team behind it all, they have a, a mixed experience, so you kind of need that. You need somebody who's a specialist in marketing, somebody who can handle, you know, getting these projects on the, onto exchanges, you know, people who are specialists in AI. So they have the uh, ex-director of Binance behind, huge. behind it, David Ann. They have uh, Amber uh, Gadar. She's an advisor to governments, helping with crypto bills. Mm -hmm. uh, Ex-CEO of Cointelegraph. Yep. So, you know, from a marketing side, that, that's huge. And then David Ann for the Binance, you know, maybe that's going to help get the projects listed to exchanges. Then you have Google, a uh, Google specialist for AI and AR. Yeah, 16 years at Google working on AI. Right. So then so you can kind of see how all these members are going to help get these projects and Bionic DAO to, you know, levels of success that it deserves to see. For sure. So what is Bionic DAO planning moving forward? So they've got a fair launch for the Bionic DAO token planned for April 2024. Uh, again, they're looking to raise capital for projects between $500,000 and $2 mi million initially paid by the Bionic DAO members in USDT. Um, eventually, they basically want to grow to compete with CoinList and become one of the actual investing stalwarts in Web3. Um, yeah, look, so um, if you are interested in crypto investing, if you want to join a community, a DAO of some of the most experienced investors in crypto with advice and, you know, connecting, networking with people from you know, ex-director of Binance, Google, AI, governments, all that kind of stuff. Bionic DAO could be something for you to check out. So look, we'll drop the Bionic DAO website and information that you need to know in the description of the episode. Thank you to Bionic DAO for partnering with us because look, we think it's a very cool project, something bringing new something to the space. So one to keep an eye on. I mean, I'm definitely excited for the launch in April. I'm really excited. I think, you know, this is something that I'm going to want to participate in if i'm able to because I, I can see the vision i see how it all how it all works together and i think it'd be a really neat addition to my current investment strategies for sure hey make sure you guys tune to the next episode that one is going to be a banger
All views expressed by speakers on the Bean Pod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the Bean Pod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only.